Hello and welcome to the People's Third Simis Check and Simis Package Update as of January 28th, 2021. I thank you for joining me for this interesting day of information. So if you'll stick with me, I'll get some good points for you. Um, to start off with, we have that the um, laptop that was stolen from Nancy Pelosi's office in, in the uh, Capitol has not been found yet. Although they arrested the person who stole it, they just haven't found the um the a laptop yet. Then President Joe Biden signed two executive actions on Thursday, <clears throat> which is today, related to the American domestic and foreign health care policy. The two actions would undo the damage Trump has done with respect to health care access, he told reporters during a signing at the Oval Office. One of the actions includes rescinding the anti-abortion policy known as the global gag rule. The global gag rule. Not nice, right? And then Representative, Representative Alexandria uh, Cortez, a Democrat from New York, leveled Senator Tom, leveled Senator Tom Cruise on a twit on on Twitter on Thursday today, basically. Is stated that AOC sent out a tweet demanding answers about why the finance uh, tapping app Robinhood disallowed users to free track stock trade stock. Days after redditors began relaying to drive up GameStop and other stocks, Cruz quote, quote uh, quoted tweet Cruz quote tweeted. AOC posts saying fully agree. However, AOC was quickly to remind Cruz of his prior rhetoric that had wh whipped up pro-Trump insurrections and do a violent riot on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol, said Cortez. I am happy to work with Republicans on issues where there is common ground, but you almost had to murder be had me murder three weeks ago. So you can sit this one out. And so basically she's saying that Ted Cruz tried to have her murdered three weeks ago. And then Senator Ron Paul has opened his in his opposition to Donald Trump impeachment trials, calling it dead on arrival. Um, Biden also signed an executive action to strengthen Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act in part of an executive order directed the Department of Health and Human Services to open a special enrollment period to give Americans the opportunity to secure health care coverage through the, the Affordable Care Act during the pandemic. The order was inst instructed federal agents to review Trump-era policies that undermine health care protections for Americans. So basically, he's expanding the uh, Affordable Care Act and abortions access. That's good, right? As Congress prepares for the second historic impeachment trial in a country that narrowly thwarted ins institutional collapse, the lawmakers who led Donald Trump's first impeachment has a frank message for Republican colleagues who have called for harmony since the deadly U.S. Capitol riot. And President Joe Biden signed multiple executive orders on Wednesday for climate control and crisis, including the establishment of a council that prioritizes environmental justice in communities that are most affected by climate crisis. Two of Biden's White House climate advisors spoke with. Now, this is about a plan to transition to science based policies and grow the economic economy of new jobs. Georgia Rep. Majority Taylor Green po uh, past posts on social media are being used against her in an effort to expel her from the House. The Senate has rejected a Republican attempt to dismiss former President Trump's second impeachment trial, a vote that allows the case on instrument of insurrection to move forward. So he, he will be, and the Department of Homeland Security has issued a National Terrorism Advisory System Bulletin today due to a heightened threat 
environment across the United States. Though the department says it does not have any information to indicate a specific credible plot, it does warn that ideology motivated violence extremists could pose a potential threat to the U.S. in the upcoming weeks. And then Texas Rep. Kyle, I can't even say his last name, has filed a House Bill uh, 1359, otherwise known as the Texas Independent Reform Act. If passed, it would allow Texans to vote on their plan to achieve Texas' independence. The Lone Star State wants to stay the Lone Star State, basically. And then years after the former President Donald Trump cozies up with Russian President Vladimir Putin to the mass confusion and concern of the U.S. intelligence community and national security officials, newly inaugurated President Biden confronted Putin, Putin about five issues Trump never did in his first phone call with the Russian leader. I mean, as I was checking my sources out today, I found out that um, the Democrats in the Senate are hoping to work with the Republicans, but if all else fails, the Dems can still use reconciliation to pass parts of the stimulus package. You might want to stick for this, this one because I'll give you an idea of what they could probably use it for. That might actually help a lot of people out. Reconciliation to for, for the reconciliation to work on part of the stimulus package, there has to be a clean connection to the government expense and economic and income bill. Something like a direct connection that the um, reason Johnny Armoth and some other Republicans want to pass the $15 an hour minimum wage through reconciliation. Yes, a higher minimum wage will affect government as income and expenses. I mean, this is that's one of the things that they can use the Reconciliation Act for is to for government uh, expenses and uh, income, basically, and increasing the the minimum minimum wage would actually affect those. But some believe that 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 passing that uh, increase in the minimum wage wouldn't actually fall under those two guidelines. But the Democrats are fighting that one. But. Uh, it is not certain if doing the minimum wage increase would pass with every Democrat. The Republicans aren't happy with having to, uh, having no say in what the final stimulus bill would look to, would look like. Basically, if the Dems used reconciliation, they obviously want to have a say in, in the stimulus package. And in fact. Uh, here is what Senator Lisa Mikorski had to say about it. The problem with this is the um with the stimulus, it is time sensitive. The Democrats want to pass something quickly. CN, CNN said that Biden is still seeking for a bipartisan stimulus package, but he will use reconciliation if needed to pass off uh, his one point nine trillion dollar bill. And the the basically the Democrats are. are they sort of are, but they might budge a little bit on the one point nine trillion dollars stimulus package bill, but on what topic, what areas, I'm not sure because they don't want to, you know, have something that's a poison pill to them. And I'm sure the Republicans are about the same with that one. They want to get a poison pill for themselves between them and the Republicans, but it may also cause issues within their own party as well, because, uh, like I said, I mean, there's that Joe Manchin who opposes the um, $1,400 or $2,000 stimulus check idea because he says it is socialism to the rich and the way that Biden has his plan written up where the restrictions that are up, up actually doubled. Some of their a single person can earn $150,000 and a married couple can earn $300,000. He believes that is socialism to the rich and he thinks that the tight, the reins on the how to qualify for these checks should be more tighter and I, I i do agree with him on that because 
I was earning $150,000 a year. I mean, yeah, I'd grant you I'd live in a house, but I wouldn't be living in like a, 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 a five bedroom, six bath house. That's just ridiculous. I mean, those people that actually decide to overspend their budget and they don't have a family yet, and they live in a house that big, I hate to say it, they sort of put themselves in that situation. Okay, one of the top, on the top of the this, and adding to the um, tension, a group of 50, 56 progressives in the House signed on to a, a letter from the representative, let's say, Omar, that's his last name, to Biden and Harris, asking them to consider recurring direct payments instead of a one-time installment. In fact, I'll let you do what they said right here. And on that note, since my video is going pretty long, I will let you guys go. And you guys have a wonderful night. And I will broadcast again to you and to have more very valid information. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. I broadcast again to you later. Bye. <music>